Hi everyone, it's Alan here once again and welcome to the Alan Kane's Daily Blog YouTube channel. Um, yeah, I'd like to pose a question to everybody. What is Blackburn famous for? Because I can only find four things. One is textiles which are basically almost fading away two Condoleezza Rice visiting the town when Jack Straw was MP that's two three Blackburn Rovers who haven't won who haven't won, won a main haven't won a major trophy ever since for uh, a crappy beat, a, uh, a Beatles song with t 10,000 potholes in Blackburn, Lancashire. And that was only in the insistence of Paul McCartney, Sir Paul McCartney, of it putting it in. Now, what else is Blackburn famous for? Well, I'm struggling to find out. And, uh, Yes, I know it was famous for textiles and, and stuff. So it was every other other town in the well, especially in the Lancashire area, Lancashire, Lancashire, and Darwin and all places like that, and up as far as Manchester. And I think Liverpool played a played a large part. Because Liverpool still does, because it's got a a nice uh, a nice ferry, a nice terminal for cruise ships and stuff. But what does Blackburn really stand for now? I'll be true. I'll be gospelly, honestly, truth, truthful with you. Not a lot, because you know we don't have any really big uh, companies here you know nothing like Google nothing like Microsoft nothing like um, like those types of companies here so what would you know what would you rather you know what would you like to see come to Blackburn you know and do, do you think do you think Blackburn's trying hard enough? Because the reason why I'm asking this is that um, a lot of the areas in Blackburn are just an absolute mess. As you can hear at the moment, lots of sirens going off. Um, something is going on at the moment, which I haven't... Uh, you know, I haven't caught on to yet, but uh, you know, I must admit, Blackburn is basically turning in, is turning a bit ghetto. Uh, only thing it's got going for it slightly is its town centre, but majority of the time, well, a lot of the areas. Lots of the areas, there are really nice areas in Blackburn, but you know, a lot of a lot of it is basically going down the toilet, shall we say? Um, some of the, some of the areas are like slums, and Blackburn Council. I, I don't think Blackburn Council really cares about what perception the town gets. You know, um, for life, for lifestyle, for lifestyle, in a in a in a in a survey, I don't really, really, uh, you know, uh, take Guardian readers' uh, opinions, but the Guardian basically put Preston, Preston of all places. With better, with be better lifestyle and healthy health health wise, 
that Preston's a lot better. What do you think? Please leave your suggestions in the comment section below. Um, like nationally, Blackburn came 20th, but, but I must admit Preston came 16th compared to what Blackburn was. Blackburn was one 60th, 60th, yeah, 60th at one time, but it has now gone to 20th on a survey of uh, of town of town of of towns and towns in the northwest, and Manchester came, shall I say, fifteenth. Well, because a major major city, it's the number one number one city round here, second to Preston. Lancaster, Lancaster. Basically, basically came both came middle of the middle of uh, the table, but you know, uh, it's quite a it's quite um, how can I put it? It's quite you know it's quite disheartening really when you when you hear that your town is well classified as a bit of a dump. You know, because a lot of the areas are having housing, housing redevelopment and stuff. Like this morning, uh, what was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. Blackburn with Darwin released that uh, large number of the houses on Richmond Terrace that have been left empty are, are basically going up for redevelopment, and. Though that's that's very most wel welcomely welcome, um, and having them done up, but is it going to make any difference to uh, Blackburn's image? Well, to be truthful, I don't think so, because um, it's. It's just one of those things, isn't it? Um, I really do feel that... I really do feel that uh, people of Blackburn are being shortchanged. And uh, the council isn't really doing anything. At this moment in time, uh, Blackburn Borough Council is... Blackburn Borough Council is basically putting industrial industrial units up and everything there is so many empty dis and uh, so many industrial units around the t around the town that are left vacant and you know it's not it's not good it doesn't look good like take this building in front of me there's a um, there's something called the Starline, what used to be the Starlight Snooker Club. For all I know, for all I know, that is not even being used or utilised. And it's empty. There's also what the, the old pitch, the old cinema. And I really do think that they could really do something, something better with that. You know? And... I really do think that it's about time Blackburn with Darwin Council woke up because they're putting the wrong type of, say, you, you know, the, 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 the putting in the wrong type of, uh, in, well, infrastructure in here um, and it's sort of... It, it's sort of horrible really and it's not it, people don't like it people don't like it there are loads of areas in Blackburn that uh, there are, as, I said, as, I said, as I said earlier there are some really nice areas in Blackburn and 
they've done them up re- really, 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 really nice. But majority of the areas look like slums. And rather ghetto. And if the if the leader of Blackburn with Darwin Borough Council is uh, is um, well watching or listening, come on guys, it's about time you sorted your act act to act together. You've just spent twelve point five million pounds on Albion on on Albion Mill Care facility. You know. And also, Raw Blackburn. Well, I'm sorry, folks, but you know, the town really, really needs a well known, well known companies to come in. A lot of the companies that do come into Blackburn, nobody's ever heard of. And, you know, it's not brilliant. Yeah, this is one of the nicer parts of Blackburn. The towns, they keep the town centre pretty, pretty, pretty good. But um, a lot of it, a lot of the town, they started doing Mill Hill. They started revamping that. They've started uh, doing, rebuilding houses on Bank Top, which shouldn't have been knocked down in the first place. They could have just done them up. Yeah, so we'll see what happens in a few months' time. Is Blackburn, is Blackburn, Blackburn going to change? Well, we don't know. What sort of develop? What sort of development would you like to see in Blackburn? Well, me, uh, you know my what I'd like, to, what I'd like, but uh, you know, they haven't even decided what they're going to do with the old Flakes' site. So if you've if you've got some suggestions, put put them in the comment section below. And yes, this is the Alan Kane's Daily Blog YouTube channel. And uh, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. I must admit that so far, I haven't come across any other bloggers in Blackburn. You know, covering covering what's going on. You know. There was Gangster Times and he disappeared. And, uh, well, he mainly co- covers the... Grime and music scene, really. When he only comes out when there's something really, really, really major come, that, that happens. And I must admit, I must admit, I haven't heard from him for quite some time. I hope the guy's all right. Um, yeah. Well, I'm just walking up church to up the top of Church Street. And having a walk round. This is the town centre. So, let's have a walk round. So, I'll leave your comments in the comment section below. But try and keep your comments civil, please. Because, um, there are younger people younger people that watch this channel well I try and keep my comments civil but uh, you know well I try (laughs) but it doesn't always happen Um, yeah we're just having a walk up and uh, having a walk round and seeing what's going on See what happens. 
there's bottles all over the place with fag packets and when there's a bin further up. Some people are just lazy. I'm just having a walk up now. And I just hope everybody's having a great day. It's turned out to be a fairly warm day today at Black in Blackburn. Or if it's just me. <laughs> and uh, we'll just have a walk up. So we'll just walk round. So we'll just have a look. We'll just have a nose around Blackburn Town Centre for a little while. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. Um, yeah, I'd like to give a few shout outs at the moment. Now, this, this wall here is a timeline of Blackburn. Right. Anything that made anything major uh, happened, right? It only goes far as 2016. Of all the changes, of all the changes of what happened. There you go. Two thousand and seven, two thousand and four. The Queen came to do the cut it, ribbon cutting, ribbon cutting for the Mal's sixty-six million pound development. I really do feel that they overpaid for that. Jack Walker. He did, he did a fair bit for the town, but I'm just having a look now. 1964, Blackburn Market's opened. Graham and Brown wall coverings. Harry Brown. Nineteen thirty one. Bit of a bit of quite a lot of these people don't know about. Cost two thousand five two thousand five hundred pounds. Part of the new Royal Blackman Hospital, nineteen twenty five. Nineteen oh five Victoria's Statue of Queen Victoria was located okay, next to the cathedral grounds, which is still there. There we go. Daniel Fuertes, 1807. And Blackburn's history. But that's Blackburn's history. But was it done since? What's it done since? Not a lot. Not a lot at all. Um, it was like what I said. What is Blackburn famous for? It's only famous for four things. One, a crappy Beatles song. Two, you know. So, 
We're just having a walk along Northgate. The Northgate has got quite a fair bit of history with it as well. But, uh, to be truthful, <laughs> Blackburn really has nothing. Nothing. And, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things that happens. I'm putting my mask up. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, so Preston has actually been voted the best best city to live in. Well, Blackburn came, as I said, Blackburn came, say, 2016th. Or is it 20th? Yeah, 20th it was, if I remember too rightly. And, uh, yeah. And they say Blackburn's good for shopping. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to say that it's not. That it's not. It's not good for shopping at all. The best place for shopping is Manchester. Um, Preston is having a very, very bad decline. And, you know, it's not not that brilliant you can always tell you can always tell how a town or city is doing you know why I'll tell you why number of pawnbrokers that they have the more pawnbrokers that they have the poorer the city is town or city is and people think, oh, Alan, that's not right and all that sort of thing. Well, I must say that it is. That it is right. Let's have a look in the window. It's, I'm going to film in the window of CEX, see what they've got there. And uh, we'll, uh, you know, I'll most probably go through it later. So... Matter of fact, there's a big retro, big massive retro scene in Blackburn for stuff like that. And uh, yeah, you might have caught that. Um, yeah, as I'm most, I'm most probably walking around Blackburn. There's quite a lot of charity shops in Blackburn. Quite a lot. But same, same, same as Preston. You've got places like um, Goldsmiths and, and places like that. Pawnbrokers. It's like as I said, I said earlier, more more pawnbrokers there are in the in your town, the poorer the town, because it's just one of those things that happens. They're supposed to be developing this area sorry no sign of it yet no sign of it they can't get the they can't get the developers in to come and develop it there are empty flats above there's empty areas above a lot of the shops around here. Now, we're coming down to an interesting building here on the left-hand side. This used to be a fitness studio, but it's been empty. Thank you. 
Say. Fitness. This this place has been closed for quite some length of time. And uh, let's have a look in the window. Have a look in the window. And I'm gonna put the see. There is no wheelchair access there. None. No wheelchair access there at all. So I think they'd have to put they'd have to put a stair lift in. Or several stair lifts for people for wheel for wheelchair access. Um it's also the also the fire escape. The, the fire escape is not um is not is not Equality Act uh, compliant. Yeah, <laughs> it got it's got pretty pretty bad. Matter of fact, what they could do is turn it into turn it into flats or something like that. So I'm just having a walk around Blackburn. I'm going to have to turn the camera off in a bit because I'm just going to go into I'm going to go into uh, the mall and uh, you know see what's going on there. But um, you know it's just one of those things that happens. A lot of buildings in this town are not really accessible for per persons like myself. Now, one of the things that they have started... <coughs> ...that they have started doing... ...they have put what they call a community hub here. I don't know who it's run by... ...but, uh, ...you know... They put that in due to the amount of COVID that there is in the town. So we're gonna go. I'm just gonna have to pause the video for now because before I go through here, see what happens. So I'd just like to give a few shout outs. Sh few shout outs. I'd like to give a shout out to um, Beyond the Edge. I'd all like to give a shout out to A Walk on the Wild Side. Also, like to give a shout out to Old Blackpool Biker. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to Lyca. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Helen's Crowd, Loud and Proud, Leroy. I'd like to give a shout out to Colin, Building Blackpool Better. Uh, who else was there? Visit Foul Coast. Um, yeah. Really enjoyed the, the last uh, vlog that you did. Also, PT PT vlogs. You know, um, who do fairground fairground ride? You know, fair, you know, travelling fairs and stuff. Also, I'd like to give a big massive shout out to Beyond the Edge, and basically all all the Blackpool bloggers because I've been I've been like looking at well listening to a lot of their stuff of late of which is very good uh, what I am disappointed about is that there aren't, aren't that many Blackburn well there's no hardly any Blackburn bloggers um, all they fo focus on is the history of the tech you know, old history of the town and stuff like that. To be truthful, to be truthful, not, people are interested in that, but 
they want something more relevant, shall we say. And to be truthful, I'm going to be straight, Blackburn is not relevant. It is not. Um, there's no real good tech companies here. There's, there's except for uh, 6G internet. Besides them, well, there's basically nothing here. Um, a lot of the, lot of the, as I said in my, in this video, a lot of, a lot of the areas are actual, actual total dumps, you know. The Blackburn Darwin Borough Council don't, well, they, they clean them, they clean them, but, but they don't clean, clean them often, often, often enough. I walked along. Um, um, Lock Hill Lane, and that is constantly filled with that. They have gra the, the grass and everything, but when I walk along there, right, this is the only this is the only neatest, tidiest part of Blackburn, where where you're where you're seeing now. You know, it's it's the neatest, tidiest part of Blackburn. Even this part of Blackburn gets gets grimy and even uh, Darwin Street which is the takeaway area uh, what I'm gonna, else I'm going to say there's a company called German Donner Kebab right they've put <laughs> to tell you the truth they've put that place on right at the bottom of Aynham it is the most inaccessible place that you could put a takeaway and the ma other major thing is, Blackburn with Darwin are letting these takeaways come in. But one of the other major things is, Blackburn with Darwin basically contradicts itself because they ha they also have um, a health, you know, well-being thing uh, part department. Well. Do you think that's contradicting what the, uh, you know, what the, you know, what they're bringing into the town? Most of the, most of the stuff that they're bringing into the town are mainly fast food. You know, come on, Blackburn with Darwin Council, you can do better than that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to say, ta for now, and uh, three, two, one. Thanks.